Hey everybody, this is Daniel Tate from Energy Alabama. I just wanted to hop on here and kind of explain some things that we're seeing happen recently with TVA. I don't know if you saw the, the news that has been reported and we posted on our social media channels and things that uh, TVA is looking to build 1.5 gigawatts of new gas, just a massive expansion of its gas capacity. And, you know, the agency uh, is really doubling down on the business model of old, right? The central power station model where all of the energy is controlled and uh, operated by them and sent down to local power companies. Think of the, the Huntsville utilities, the Decatur utilities of the world, and, and then eventually sold to folks like me and you. And, you know, the part of the reason why I wanted to hop on here is just to talk a little bit about this proposal and how absurd it is uh, just from an economic perspective. You know, even if you don't count things like the pollution and the climate change emitting gases, greenhouse gases that are emitted from a gas plant, and these plants are just absurdly uneconomic. I mean, the, the days of new gas are behind us, and TVA, when it released its uh, environmental assessment, you know, as a federal agency, it has to release an environmental assessment when it does big new projects like this and potentially even an environmental impact statement, which goes even further, they released a 300 page document that didn't even look at any alternatives. Their all quote alternatives analysis was just looking at, well, we could either build 1.5 gigawatts of new gas or we could just do nothing. That's not an alternative analysis. That's a predetermined analysis, right? Where they knew what they were going to do and just said, well, I guess doing this is better than doing nothing. A real alternative analysis, anybody with common sense, right, would tell you, did they look at a smaller portion? Did they look at battery storage? Did they look at energy efficiency and demand response? No, they didn't look at any of that. And, you know, keying in on the energy efficiency and demand response, you know, I talked about how uneconomic this decision is and how uneconomic new gas is. We saw the same thing here recently with Alabama Power. The most economic thing you could do is energy efficiency and demand response. And TVA's own analysis has shown that. Uh, its integrated resource plan that it puts together every so many years, which is a kind of its long range plan of how it's gonna meet its needs. Uh, when when that plan took the the shackles, the chains off of energy efficiency and demand response, Lo and behold, the model economically started choosing a lot more energy efficiency and demand response because that was the most economic option it could pick. And what did it do? It was moving gas off the system. It was basically saying, hey, this is cheaper. We're going to build energy efficiency and demand response rather than new gas. Uh, but of course, none of that made the alternative analysis that TVA was supposed to do. And it sure as heck didn't make the decision makers level of what are we going to do as TVA. And then the last thing that I'll kind of throw out there is, you know, when the Biden administration came in, one of its visions or the vision it had for uh, us as a nation and then its goal of 100 percent zero carbon electricity by 2035 and a net zero economy by 2050. Those are really important things, right? You had the largest federal utility and TVA basically saying, we're going to build, you know, one and a half gigawatts of new gas, thumbing its nose at the administration saying, we don't care what your executive orders say. We don't care about the vision that you have for zero carbon electricity, uh, much less, again, not even taking anything into account with the economics I just said, but just thumbing its nose at the as the, president's, the presidential administration about what the future is going to look like. Keep in mind, the Biden administration is the one who will appoint uh, new board members. And uh, the previous administration, the Trump administration, has shown the precedent uh, that, uh, that a president has uh, to fire board members, right, when the agency does not act uh, in accordance with the president's wishes or with the president's vision for the agency, for the country. So, you know, the, the presidential administration uh, will have a lot of soul searching to do about how it wants to move forward, uh, considering the obstinance uh, of its of its own federal utility. Right. So anyways, just wanted to come on here and, and briefly explain this issue for y'all. Uh, just again, kind of really nuts to hear a federal agency that you know, should not be motivated by profit, really doubling down on 
uh, this business model that's out of the money. It's, it's not good for consumers. Uh, it doesn't help us use less energy and it just doesn't align with where we are here as a country and where we're moving to, to zero carbon, you know, putting things on today that emit carbon that are going to be with us uh, for decades that are already losing money. So uh, again, we hope that, that this was helpful for y'all, but uh, we also hope even more than TVA will rethink its decision and really start investing more in energy efficiency, demand response, battery storage, the things that are going to help us save uh, energy, save uh, consumers dollars, and also uh, mitigate carbon emissions.